Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I am so excited to bring you today's video. I have a pretty exciting undertaking that we're going to be focusing on in today's video. And it's, it's a project I've been meaning to do for quite some time. And I don't know how I've managed to put it off this long, but here we are. <laughs> here we are. I would expect nothing less from myself. <laughs> but anyways, welcome back. And hopefully you'll stick around with me just because I promise this video is going to be a fun little decorate slash slash DIY kind of uh, hangout video. So you're just going to hang out with me while I decorate the space that's above my kitchen cabinets. It's really exciting. We have a little scene that we're going to be making up there. So definitely make sure you stick around. So I want to start off by saying, well, first and foremost, welcome home. <laughs> if you are new here, my name is Jessie, and on this channel, we do all things spooky related, and we just kind of dive into anything that pertains to the strange and unusual, and we're really going to start focusing on a lot of Victorian homemaking. So if that is right up your alley, definitely make sure you stay with me because we've got a really fun video planned today. But as I was mentioning, before we get too far into this video, I want to start by saying this video is going to center around taxidermy. So if that is not up your alley, I just want to give a little bit of a disclaimer. This video does uh, strongly center around taxidermy. As you can see, I mean, just behind me, we've got some taxidermy going on. But I, I have a few different taxidermy pieces in my home. So I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there. If, if this kind of thing isn't your cup of tea, maybe this video isn't for you. But if you don't mind, you know, seeing this kind of stuff, then I think you'll really enjoy it. So today's video is going to center around my newest taxidermy piece that I picked up. I actually acquired a, a taxidermy coyote. I have one taxidermy coyote already. He's just behind me. I've never really named him uh, the, the one that's behind me. My dad always calls him Wiley. So <laughs> I guess his name will be the, the one right behind me is named Wiley. The new coyote we got, I've, I've given the very complex and very well-rounded name of Wolfie. <laughs> Put a lot of thought into that one, but we've named him Wolfie. He is a coyote and he's going to be making his grand debut and I picked him up from a little shop by the name of the learned lemur and I talk about them on this channel all the time. We love the learned lemur around here. So if you are new here, the learned lemur is a little oddity shop that is located in downtown Denver. They are glorious. They have they're just so well done and they're such a unique little hole in the wall that if you haven't checked them out, I would highly recommend checking them out because you won't leave without at the very least seeing something that you've never seen in your life or seen, you know, up until that point. So they're definitely worth checking out. And this uh, newest addition to this household is uh, also from that shop. And it's just a taxidermy coyote. And I, I picked him up because I've been wanting to do a, I want to, I've been wanting to create a little scene up above my kitchen cabinets over here to my left. And I could not for the life of me think of what to put up there. I have a lot of space above my kitchen cabinets. And, and I remember one time when my boyfriend came over, he was like looking up there and he was saying, Oh, I always pictured something really big going up there. So naturally it had to be a taxidermy piece. <laughs> I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules, but 
taxidermy in itself is a very, it, it's kind of a, a staple when it comes to Victorian homemaking. And that is what we are all about on this channel. So that's why I figured I would make its, its own separate video, just kind of focusing on taxidermy. So I, I knew I was going to put a taxidermy piece up there and I knew it had to be something that was around, I would say 24 inches or shorter. So I was kind of limited to what I could put up there. And so I reached out to the learned lemur because I've, I've gone to them many times whenever I needed, you know, whatever, whatever strange and unusual piece I need for my home. They're usually who I call. Um, so I reached out to them. I told them the exact specifications that I needed. I said, I, I want to, you know, um, invest in some taxidermy. I need something that is 24 inches or shorter. Do you have anything? And man, oh man, did they have the hookup for me. They sent me this beautiful, well, they sent me a photo of this beautiful taxidermy coyote, which we'll show in just a moment. And he is just absolutely stunning. I, I didn't originally think I was going to be picking up another coyote piece because I have Wiley uh, right behind me, but he was just so perfect. They sent, the learned lemur was wonderful. They not only sent me a multitude of photos, but they also sent me measurements because they knew I was only working with about 24 inches of space and he was perfect. He measured at like 20 inches. I'm pretty sure. I think he's only like 20 to 23 inches. So he's, he's perfect. He, he, I knew he would fit in that space beautifully. So I let him know. I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll take him. So then my boyfriend and I went down and we picked him up and, and now he's here and he's just kind of been hanging out waiting for me to put him up in his forever spot. So that's what I figured today's video would center on is we're just going to be creating a little scene behind my coyote up above my cabinets and my kitchen. And I'm really excited about the, the theme that I'm doing up there because I knew I wanted it to look like a natural kind of woodsy scene up above there. And I came up with this idea of getting some uh, floral. And at first I was playing around with the idea of just doing, you know, like, a garland like a, I wanted to do like a pre-lit garland and at first I was playing around with the idea of doing like kind of um like a alpine looking like pine garland and I was really set on that for the longest time because I wanted it to look like dark kind of woodsy theme up there but then I ended up moving away from that because the more I started thinking about that I realized that if I did like a a pine kind of garland. I felt it would give too much of a Christmassy vibe. I don't know. If you, if you think otherwise, let me know. If, if you think I should have gone with that, then just let me know. But I, I ended up not going with the dark woodsy kind of pine garland. I decided to go with more of a floral um, approach. And the floral I picked, I ended up going over to Michael's and I picked up some of this dried floral and it's it's absolutely beautiful you guys i love this i love this deep kind of um it, it's like almost a wine color uh i want to say maroon there's a better name for it but it's just like a deep deep wine red and i love that i absolutely love that color and then it's got this foresty green these are just leaves but this is dried floral so it is it is real and it's just floral that they took and they completely dried out and now they're selling. Um, and I'm really excited. I picked up, I think I picked up about 13 of these bundles. I realized that's what it's going to take for me to make this scene up above my cabinets. And so I picked up about 13 of these and I have the other one right here. I'm trying to keep them kind of separated out because each, each bundle is going to have its own purpose. So I gotta, I still gotta take the plastic wrap off of each of these and, and then we'll go from there. But just, just know that these are gonna make up the kind of woodsy, you know, the, the forest theme that I have going on up there. And I think they're gonna look really, really good with my coyote boy that I got. Um, but anyways, we got these and today's video is just gonna be us creating that forest 
display up above my cabinets. And I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. It's gonna be kind of a big undertaking, but I think we can do it. So this video is going to operate like a few of my other videos past. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna turn into a voiceover video, so just be prepared for that. And it, you know, it's just gonna be me getting up on a step ladder, you know, trying to make this scene come to life. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I thought about like putting you up above the cabinets adjacent to see if, if that would work. I'm just scared of you, of you falling or maybe on top of my fridge. I don't know. I haven't really figured it out yet. So we're gonna see how it goes. But without further ado, let's just get into this decorate with me. We're gonna be turning my cabinets into a coyote forest paradise. <laughs> so let's just get right to it. All right, and really quick, I did just wanna take a moment and introduce you all to the star of today's video. This is Wolfie. I thought of his very, very complex, elaborate name in, you know, the matter of, of a few minutes. <laughs> but he does seem like a Wolfie to me, so that's just what we decided to name him. But anyways, this is my newest taxidermy coyote. He is absolutely beautiful, and he is going to be the focal point of what goes above the kitchen cabinets, and I think he is going to look glorious up there. I love, I don't think I've ever shown you guys, but um, he's still got his learned lemur tag on there. I just love that shop so much. They are just so cute. Um, they got their little dapper looking lemur. But anyways, this is Wolfie. He is going to be the taxidermy piece that is the focal point of this display. So without further ado, let's just get into this decorate with me and I will see you in just a minute. Hi everyone. So here we are. We're just taking the plastic wrap off of this dried floral. I had quite a few of these to get through. So I was, you know, I, I have sped this video up quite a bit. So you're going to see me move in pretty quickly. But like I said, we have about 13 of these to get through. So I basically just cut through the plastic wrap of each one of these. And I realized I wanted to put down like a little trash bag right there because this very quickly became apparent to me that it was going to be a messy project. So I, I decided to put down that, that plastic bag. Anyways, we're now on to the second floral piece. And I will admit, it took me a few of these to realize that I truthfully didn't even need scissors. I They have these perforated edges and Oh my goodness, once I realized that, this task became a breeze. It was so easy uh, moving forward after that. Anyways, here we are um, at the kitchen cabinets. And the, basically what I'm doing here is I'm just getting all the dried floral placed. I needed to get it placed and kind of visualize where everything was going to go. And, you know, I'm a very um, visual person. So when I do my decorating, it really helps for me to see exactly where something's go going. And a lot of times I'll, I'll put stuff up in a certain um, arrangement and I'll stand back and I'll look at it and then I'll, I'll, I'll mess with it and fine tune it from there. And that's how I really get displays to come together in the end. But anyways, as I mentioned, I'm just getting all of the dried floral placed up here just so I can see my spacing and kind of figure out where I'm going to go from here. It was very important that I figured out which dried floral was on the ends compared to the dried floral that was in the center because the, the center, I would say the four center pieces of dried floral, they're all going to be cut. As you can see that I'm cutting them here, reason being is I want to be able to fill in all of that negative space with the rest of the branches that are inside the bundle. So these four centerpieces, um, I chose them because you have to remember the coyote is going in front of these four centerpieces. And obviously I don't, you know, once you cut these, they, it kind of get turns into a big mess. You know, it, they, they fall apart. You know, as you can see, I'm, I'm spreading one of these all apart right here, but it makes it easier for this stuff to fall down. So I needed to focus on the four center pieces 
as the only floral that I cut the, you know, elastic bands on. That way the coyote could stand in front of them and prevent those floral pieces from falling down over time. So anyways, that's all I'm doing here is I'm just cutting each of the elastic bands on the floral bundles and I'm spreading out the floral to fill up all that negative space that you see there. Because as I mentioned, I want this to be a forest scene and I didn't want there to be too much of the, of the beige wall color shining through in the background. So all we're doing now is we're just doing some fine tuning and just kind of getting everything as spread out as possible. I spent a great while on this. You know, I just wanted to make sure that we were ready to go. And here we are adding our coyote boy. And once I was happy with how he was looking, it was time to move on to next steps. So basically all that's left now is I'm adding the floral that well, the last bits of the floral, you know, that kind of are the finishing touches to this display. You know, I wanted to, like I said, I wanted to fill in as much of that negative space as possible. So you can kind of see my design there. I, I cut the bands on all the four center pieces of floral behind the coyote, and I left the outer bits of floral uh, banded together. That way I didn't have to worry about them falling over time. And then I just took the remaining floral that I had and placed these on the ends to kind of fill in that negative space. And that's really all we're doing here is we're just, we're just kind of fluffing and filling all of that negative space to make sure that this looks as aesthetically pleasing as possible. And this is when I was really starting to get pretty happy with how this, this design was coming together. I, I really, really do enjoy how this display turned out. You know, it, I definitely feel that I achieved a foresty look. But I, you know, I, I really did spend a great while on trying to fill in this, this extra space on the ends here. But eventually it all, it all just kind of came together. And here we are just putting the final touches on this display. I will say that the right side of this display came together much quicker than the left side. I think just because I kind of, at this point, knew what I was doing. <laughs> you know, every time I decorate, it's always kind of a little bit of a learning curve. You know, I, I learn what works and I teach myself new tricks. And it just, it's always a different experience every time. But you just got to love the process. Anyways... Now we're just adding the floral to the bottom of this display, kind of, you know, where he would be walking. I wanted there to look like there was, like I said, he's walking through a forest. So I wanted this to look as organic as possible. And, you know, I was just basically kind of seeing where these looked best and kind of moving things around. And overall, I was pretty happy with how this looked. And... There you have it. That's that's pretty much the final look. truthfully such a fun time thank you all for joining me for this it really was it was just so relaxing and and therapeutic for me honestly for the for the artist in me to to kind of get to do this project you know it, it just it really kind of brought out that that side of me again and I, I'm just really looking forward to more projects actually so with that being said if you haven't already please be sure that you subscribe to the channel because there's a lot of fun fun projects and really good spooky content that's going to be coming your way and 
If you also haven't hit that notification bell, definitely make sure that you do. That way you're notified anytime I post again because as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of sporadic about it at times. So you don't want to miss out on any future videos. But as always guys, please stay safe and happy Halloween.